The year is 2014. You just got home from school. You open up Steam and run Gary's Mod. You click on a find multiplayer game and load into your favorite dark RP server. You see the usual people you see every day. The people are selling guns, hobos throwing boots in the air, and people in the voice chat using a microphone that they found in the dumpster. You feel very happy. You feel at peace. A few years passes by, and you feel like revisiting Gary's mod. You click on find multiplayer game, and you join in your favorite dark RP server, just like the old days. You see the good old RP downtown V2 map that the server uses. Only this time, it's empty. No people building random structures in the middle of the streets. Not even a single person is online, though you do not feel alone. You feel like someone's following and watching you from a distance. You wonder, what causes this feeling? Is this map haunted? Let's talk about that. No, the maps are not haunted by some kind of digital computer ghost. Even though there are rumors circulating online that the original map creator died of suicide and now his ghost haunts the very map that he made. To better explain this, here's Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers. First of all, are there cursed videos or photos on the internet? No! No fucking JPEG, MOV, MP4, WMV, 3GP file can be embedded with a curse. This isn't The Ring, this isn't Samara, okay? This isn't some crazy movie that you watched back in the day. There is no cursed photo. So. What actually causes this feeling? Canopsia, the eerie, forlorn atmosphere of a place that is usually bustling with people, but is now abandoned and quiet. Everyone has experienced this at least once in their lives. Have you ever explored your school campus at night, alone? The eerie feeling we get from there is called Canopsia. Remember seeing the map RP Downtown V2 filled with people? And every time we see it empty, our brain automatically gives us a feeling of uneasiness and makes us feel unnerved. The brain does not know and remember this environment for the emptiness it has right now. These empty maps fall under the concept liminal space, which refers to the feeling of being in a transitional space that has been abandoned and makes it feel frozen and slightly unsettling. Add in the photorealism of the source engine atmosphere, the ambience and the environment. The sounds that we hear when we are in the game really adds up to that eerie feeling of the map. We hear very distant police sirens, cars driving by, and helicopters flying by. Though we do not see anyone on the map, and the only thing you should really be hearing are your own footsteps. It seems as if these sounds are so out of place thus making us feel uneasy. In conclusion, this just proves that Valve is the master of atmosphere in games, especially with the Source engine. Whether it be in Half-Life 2 when passing by an empty hallway, or in an empty chamber in Portal. Since Gary's mod uses the same engine, the maps created by people have also adapted this kind of atmosphere that really puts us, the players, into the maps that they have created and makes us feel all